Today I'm going to be sharing with you a problem which I give to my students who are looking to prepare for the TMUA and MAT. This is not from a past paper, but this is very much a problem that could easily appear in one. We want to evaluate the sum 30 choose 0 times 30 choose 10, minus 30 choose 1 times 30 choose 11, plus 30 choose 2 times 30 choose 12, and so on, this alternating sum uh, up to 30 choose 20 times 30 choose 30. Do pause the video and have a go at this yourself. Um, I'm going to get stuck in. How do we approach this? We obviously don't want to do this manually. There's something to spot here. And in particular, it's two binomial coefficients being multiplied together. And I can see that these kind of base numbers are going up by one each time. So zero goes to one, 10 goes to 11, one goes to two, 11 goes to 12, and so on. And that's great, but I'd actually prefer if they added up to a constant number. And actually they do, because remember binomial coefficients are symmetric. So I could write this as 30 choose 30 times 30 choose 10 minus 30 choose 29 times 30 choose 11, plus 30 choose 28 times 30 choose 12, and so on, all the way up to 30 choose 10 times 30 choose 30. Now, why would I even want to do this? What, what's the point? Well, the idea is now these bottom numbers add up to 40. And if you think about maybe this for a second, you might realize that actually then we can start to think about coefficients of certain numbers. This number here simply represents the coefficient of something in a certain binomial expansion. Hmm. Well, if I look at the left numbers in each, 30 choose 30, 30 choose 29, 30 choose 28, 30 choose 10, how could I get those? Well, what I could do is I could think about the function x plus 1 to the power of 30, because if I was to expand that, I'd get x to the power of 30 plus 30 choose 29 x to the power of 29, plus 30 choose 28, x to the power of 28, and so on, all the way down to, well, I'd have a 30 choose 10, x to the 10, and then the terms would continue thereafter up to 30 choose 0, x to the 0. Cool. Now, how about these terms? Well, 30 choose 10, 30 choose 11, and so on, up to 30 choose 30. Well, that's the same thing, except this time I want to also ensure I get these minuses in every other term. How can I do that? Well, I can just, instead of making x plus 1, I can make it x minus 1 to the power of 30. And that gives me x to the 30 minus 30 choose uh, 1, x to the 29, plus 30 choose 2, x to the 28, and so on, all the way up to uh, 30 choose uh, 30, x to the 0, like so. Cool, great, lovely. Why is this at all relevant? Well, if we think about this sum here, if I just call it S for the time being, 30 choose 30 times 30 choose 10. Let me use colors here. If I take this number here, which is 30 choose 30, I can multiply it by something in this bracket, namely the 30 choose 10 term here. Um, what would the, th the 30 choose 10 term be? Oh, I should, probably should have labeled these the other way around. So that's 29, that's 28. And that's zero. What would the 30 choose 10 term be? Well, it would be the x to the 10 term. And so if I multiply those two terms together, I get something x to the 40. If I multiply um, to get my minus 30 choose 29 times 30 choose 11, I'm going to take my 30 choose 29 from here, x to the 29, and multiply it by the minus 30 choose 11, x to the 11 in this second sum. And by multiplying those together, I get another x to the 40. And so what I realize is that this s is simply the coefficient of x to the power of 40 in the product of these two things. So let me just reiterate, this s is just some number. And at the end of the day, if I multiplied x plus 1 to the 30 by x minus 1 to the 30 together, I'd get a huge polynomial of degree 60. The coefficient of x to the 40 is going to be s. So that's all I need to work out, the coefficient of x to the 40 in this. And conveniently, if I multiply these together, I get x squared minus 1 to the 30. And if I look for the coefficient of x to the 40 here, well, because it's x squared, that's going to be x squared to the power of 20. So that's simply going to be 30 choose 20 times minus 1 to the 10. Um, and that's going to be equal to 30 choose 20 or 30 choose 10. And that there would be my final answer. So this thing here is simply equal to 30 choose 10, like so. 
If you are someone who's looking to prepare for the MAT or TMUA and running office hours, I'll leave a link for that in the comments um, down below. So do check that out. It's going to give you that final push that you need. There's already a bunch of people who have signed up who are asking loads and loads of cool questions every week. And if that seems like something for you where you can see some more of these types of problems or questions where you can just get that extra bit of uh, support, um, then maybe that's for you. Anyway, I'll leave another video on screen where I solve another TMUA or MAT cell problem from my bank of problems, and I will see you over there.